What's up everybody? It is Kit Smooth, aka the best bot, and I'm gonna make this video simple. I know you guys been your your sub box has been loaded and loaded with Project Scorpio content with everybody's reactions. You probably had like 10 podcasts in a day. You know what I mean? You probably had ton of ton of information of excitement, but you not have heard yet from the best bot. Yes, I am excited. I am happy. I am happy. Because not only did Microsoft deliver and they had, you know, Pony Foundry or Sony Foundry, you know what I mean, Digital Foundry, to back them up to let the world know, hey, this thing's a beast. They, they, they have uh, this magical way of getting... 4K 60 frames. And they, and they did it in such a marvelous way. It's just astonishing. Astonishing. You kind of have to look beyond the numbers. Yeah, that's, that's what this was like. Microsoft didn't just deliver on their promises. Of course they deliver on their promises. But they also over-delivered. They over-delivered. No, Scorpio's not 7 teraflops. No, Scorpio's not using Ryzen or Vega. No. They got this custom chip doing all sorts of work. They got pretty much the Scorpio engine is what they call it, right? That they got these games able to run so efficient. By the way, DirectX 12 is like built into the Scorpio. But games are running so efficient that... Project Scorpio is running 4K60 on games and it doesn't even know. <laughs> it is crazy. You see this image behind me? This image behind me is a still shot of a uh, Forza engine running 4K60 frames per second on Scorpio that was ported in just two days. Two days. Right? And guess what? It's running at 60.02 frames per second. Obviously, the 3840 by 2160, that's 4K. And it's only at 66.19% of the GPU capability. They also tested this engine at PC Ultra Max settings on Scorpio, and it shot up the GPU utilization shot up to 88. It's matching PC Ultra settings. I remember on an episode of a podcast, right? Was it the last one or, or two episodes ago where I said Forza easily 4K 60 frames ultra? I said easily. And this easily at least doing 4K 60 frames at six, and it's not at 66% and they already tested ultra. So it works. It does it and it still has still have room to have to to add shit. If they wanted to, <laughs> they, they could still, they got room to, to add shit, to fine tune it and make it look best as it could possibly be because they're, they're, they're already tested 4k 60 ultra settings. So the notion that Scorpio won't be able to do games at 60 frames ultra. Now, maybe it won't be able to do every game, but who knows? Who knows? Remember, it's only using a Jaguar engine. It's only using Jaguar engine because that's all everybody knows. Everybody's a Jaguar expert. Everybody's a CPU expert. And you can see the damage control on Twitter. You can see the damage control on YouTube. And everybody just has it with their, their passive aggressive downplay. Or, oh, but we need the games. We need the games. Fucking need the games. Of course you need the fucking games, you idiots. Project Scorpio will have the games, idiots. You realize that every game, when we go into E3 and they're, Ubisoft is showing all their games, EA showing all their games, Bethesda, everybody showing off, you make Rockstar, Bungie, every Activision, they showing all them games. The one place everybody's going to want to play those games is on Project Scorpio. So shut the fuck up with the games argument. It, it, it really, come on. Come on, most of us play multiplats to begin with. And if the multiplats are going to be running 4K on Project Scorpio, 
But I don't want to hear a conversation about they have get they better have games. Of course they're gonna have games. They're gonna have games by default. <laughs> you know what I mean? Games aren't just not gonna come out on it. Games are going to be there. So it's like, oh, they got no exclusive. Well, guess what? Guess what? I'm going to exclusively have that experience on an Xbox, on a console, on the Xbox console. I don't care about that NBA 2K is quote unquote native 4K on the PlayStation 4 Pro. That's going to be one game to like fucking 100 on a Scorpio. <laughs> it's this is it, this is insane the amounts of damage control and the downplaying people want to say they, they they come at you with games like what games Yo, what 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 game need to be i don't want no fucking persona 5 running on a scorpio what the, what the fuck is what what will that do <laughs> no no you give me new hardware you said six teraflops you said most powerful console i want to see what that shit looks like and i don't give a fuck what game is running as long as it's running at those resolutions and at those frame rates does it really it, it, it's a, does it have to be an exclusive now it has to be an exclusive to be it acceptable <laughs> that it has to be an exclusive now so it's it's just funny it's just funny now, i'm not going to talk to spec talk because i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about i just know the end result they said hey that shit was running 60 frames per second 4k at 60 percent that's all I need to fucking hear. Because I'm like, well, damn. Imagine what this shit would do at 100. Shit, 90. So, I'm excited as a console gamer because we're finally going to get a console that gives us the luxury of what some of, some very few, very, very few PC gamers get to experience. And we get to do it the luxury as a console. I don't have to plug my... A controller to a PC and remove myself from my friends on the Xbox. I can now do this and enjoy the perks of high fidelity uh, graphical and, and performance gaming on a console on my 4K TV and, and, and be perfectly fine. Now, personally, I'm considering getting the LG 4K um, um Ultra HD HDR monitor and, and pair that with the Scorpio. Shit, I might tell, sell this motherfucking 980 Ti. I'm just saying, I really don't need it honestly as a console gamer. But you know, it's cool to have. You know, but um, that's all I've really got for you guys on this video. It's like Scorpio is a beast. No, it's not gonna make uh the Xbox One uh like sell 20 million in a year or anything like that. It's not gonna happen. No, but it will be a beast of a console. And I will be playing that shit more than ever. I, I haven't stopped playing my Xbox, but it will be truly the definitive edition to play all my games. Even my old games. Multiplats. And of course, the exclusives. That I don't want to play on PC because... PC, a lot of these games, a lot of people... The online community for PC is not as strong as consoles. So yes, Scorpio is and will be the best place to play most of these games. And I can't wait till E3. I can't wait to be in Los Angeles looking at these games and knowing that the best place and the, where I'm going to get the best bang for my buck while you guys will be fucking paying $20 for early map packs and shit, I'll be playing the, uh, playing the game in the best way possible. You guys keep the DLC. I'll keep the 4K. It's kid smooth. Xbox is the best box, and I am the best bot. Good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe. It's kid smooth. Peace. We out.